In today's video, I'm going to be making orange rind candle votive holder things. Uh, there's two methods to do this. So the first one is just cut it in half with a knife, like so. The purpose of this is to keep the skin, like the rind intact, so the middle is not so important. Um, however, if you want to keep the middle as one whole orange and peel it in sections like you do a clementine, you can do this other method, which uses an X-Acto knife, where you want to just barely cut through the skin and not damage the orange on the inside. Um, again, cutting all the way around the circle. And using a spoon, you want to push it just into the white part of the rind and run it all the way along in a circle until you get the whole rind free. You can see here that I was not delicate enough with my X-Acto knife and I cut into the orange. It kind of looks like the Death Star a little bit, but uh, I didn't like this method because when I used the spoon, I actually ripped the rind, which is the part that I want to keep for this project. So I suggest doing the straight up cutting it in half and just kind of tearing the juice out like that or the pieces out. I'm going to save these and make juice tomorrow, so I'm not worried about what they look like. Then you want to pick any type of cookie cutter that you have lying around. Um, because I'm doing Christmassy themed things, I'm going with kind of like a star. I don't know what this is. It's like half star, half cl like club. I don't know what that is. Make sure you keep your orange rinds in pairs, like from the, the set that they came from, and choose the one that's most flat to be the bottom, and then the top part is where you want to cut your shape out. Um, you can see here that an orange rind is actually kind of thick, so basically I'm just making the impression uh, of the cookie cutter and then I'm going to use my exact one I have to cut out the actual shape, like a stencil. So basically after you cut out your shape, you're going to put it back on top of the bottom half of the rind, so it makes kind of like a sphere back to orange shape. That's why you want to pick the flat one to be on the bottom, because it will eventually have the tea light in the bottom. There you go. I'm going to do another one that is a heart because I think that the holiday season is all about loving and giving. So I chose a heart. Aww. Pop. And you can see I'm just going to set it on top like that, but for now I'm just going to put it off to the side. Okay, now you want to get cloves, whole cloves, and any one of your oranges, and just pierce the cloves into the orange rind in any sort of decorative pattern that you choose. It's actually pretty easy. I don't know why this first one was so hard for me to get through, but the rest of them just punctured right through. No, not a problem. I was being a little bit careful in this because I didn't want to rip the design. Um, so take your time, but it is fairly easy just to push it right through. I didn't need to pre-pierce or anything. And there you go. And this is one's my favorite. I know as a crafter you shouldn't pick favorites. It's like picking a favorite child, but the Christmas tree is my favorite one. So I'm just shoving some clothes in there. No, oh, no. Okay, and you just want to put your tea light in the bottom and pop the top on like that. Obviously I had a little trouble finding the balance there, but I just moved the candle around a bit until I got it to stand up. It took a few tries, but I got it to stand up. Now just light your tea lights and place the lid on top and you have a beautiful, festive, orange rind votive candle holder. They actually smell amazing too because the heat from the flame actually makes the clothes and the orange smell um, fill the room. So these are doubly nice for looking at and smelling. Such a nice orangey glow. All right, well, that's it for me today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as always, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.